Good morning guys, welcome back to another daily vlog. Today is the day that I finally move out into university. Um, I've wanted to vlog this for the longest time and so far I'm super excited. I'm not yet nervous but I'm sure that I will be. Um, but I just thought I would start this vlog here. I need to go and get myself ready because um, my time slot to move in is between 1 and 2 and it obviously takes 4 hours to get up there so ideally we want to be leaving at half past eight so i am going to go and get ready and then i will check in with you after and show you the situation downstairs because honestly there is so much stuff i do not know how we're gonna fit it in like my mum's car it's a joke honestly i am dressed and ready to go i'm actually we were actually ready really early but i think we're just gonna leave like once everybody is ready once dad's ready and all of that and i think my granddad's coming around at like eight ish to look after my brothers Elliot's not actually here, it's just Tristan, so obviously he can't be left alone because he is too young for that. But yeah, I'm pretty much packed up. My room is looking very empty. I'm going to say it's looking empty. It's looking empty to me, but to you it probably just looks tidy. <laughs> and this is like my pile of stuff that I still need to take. So it's just like my wash bag and makeup and my hair straight and my colours. It's all that is left to pack. And yeah, it's a bit sort of like it doesn't really feel real i tweeted last night i was like is there anyone else moving out this weekend but it doesn't really feel real and it doesn't feel real at all um but i'm sure it will do like once i'm in the car and stuff um as of yet i'm not nervous i'm just sort of like quite phased by it all like quite quiet today and i'm never normally like really quiet and i think that's just where it's like a lot to take in so yeah i said goodbye to um elliot last night because he went out with his mates so I said goodbye to him and I don't know, I don't want to say I got emotional, but I did get a little bit emotional, but I didn't want anyone to know that I got a bit emotional because I don't want anyone to think that I'm like sad about going, I'm excited. But me and my me and Elliot, who is my younger brother, but my oldest younger brother, if that makes sense, he's 16, so we're quite close in age because I'm 18 just turned. Um and we have like quite a good relationship, we're very close. Um so sad to say like goodbye to him for a few months because we do get along really well which I'm lucky like I know I'm really lucky because I know that some people don't get along with their siblings but literally me and Elliot get along so well and me and Tristan to be fair but I've not said goodbye to him yet but yeah said goodbye to Elliot last night and now just Tristan and my little dog wherever she is my dog this week she knows that something's going on she's like hated me all this week but yes I'm going to take down my final few bits and show you the bags downstairs because there is honestly so many bags I have no idea how we're going to fit it all in the car See you later little room. It looks so bare. Oh my goodness. Bye. See you in December. Actually, Tri my little brother's gonna be living in here in December, so I won't see it in December really. <laughs> Meg. Oh look at her. She knows something's going on. She's known all week. She's been sat at the landing. Basically all of my bags have been up here. That's just a school bag, but I've had bag for lives all up here. And she's literally laid by them all week. She knows I'm going. Don't you? Yes. Yes. Get my bag. Honestly, this bag is so heavy. It's got it's got my laptop and all of my like documents and stuff in. And it's the heaviest bag ever. So this is how many bags I actually have to fit in the car. We have one car. And there is multiple bag for lives, two massive, like, if it's going to focus, two massive Ikea bags. I've got my backpack there with towels in, and art folders, I've got my portfolio there, duvets, cushions, <laughs> literally so much stuff. And we have one car. One car. How is that going to work? <laughs> the car is so full, <laughs> I've had to put down two of the seats. <laughs>
made it to Leicester. It has been so long since I picked you guys up. Um, so I think the last time I picked you up, I was possibly like at home even. Um, but I'm now in my new room. It is looking a lot tidier than it was. So I quickly like, we just have these bags that still need unpacking and my bed needs making. And then I've got my desk and stuff behind here. I'm not gonna show you too much because I am gonna do a room tour, but it's a really nice room, really nice flat. Although we're at the top, like I'm on the top floor, so heat rises and I'm bloody boiling. Um, but I just wanted to check in with you quickly and say we got here safely and it's a lovely flat. I've met one of my flatmates. Um, I was going to go out with him to get our uh, freshest wristbands, but um, I just wanted to carry on unpacking and my parents are going to bring me some food in a minute because I've not eaten yet. But yeah, it's looking nice and it's been quicker to unpack than I thought. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd dig, dig in with you quickly. It's because it's digging in there. Check in with you quickly and I'm going to carry on unpacking because there's still a lot to be done. Hey guys, so it may or may not be three days after the last clip was filmed. Um, so it is currently, what day is it? Tuesday and obviously I moved in on Saturday. So I've been here like three days now. Do you know what? I, I don't even know what the days are at the moment. They've literally all bled into one. We have freshers flu and it's only the third day of freshers. And yeah, it's going great really. Um, no, but I'm loving university. I've met some great people and been on some good nights out so far. I think as the week goes on, they're gonna get better. Um, and I'm actually struggling to talk because I literally, my throat is killing. I think it's just where, if you can hear background noise, I'm really sorry, I've got my window open because it's so warm in here. Um, but I think it's just where I've like, been talking, talking a lot to like new people and things. My voice has literally just gone. I look like crap, I'm sorry, but you know, it's what happens when <laughs> you're hungover and have freshers flu. Um, yeah, I just thought that I would end the vlog here, I guess. I might be able to see like, a bit of my room behind me, but I am gonna do a room tour at some point. Don't know when I'm gonna get it up, hopefully it's soon. Um, so you guys can, like, will be able to see the whole of my university room, which I'm looking forward to doing. I also had my um, like meeting my tutors and stuff today and people on my course. So I've met like um, who I'm gonna be, uh, like, not my court of call, I guess, when I'm struggling or like need to, someone to talk to. I met her and I also met people on my course, which was great, they all seemed lovely. I'm gonna sneeze, no I'm not. Um, <clears throat> they all seem really nice so far, so not met anyone who isn't nice, <laughs> touch wood. But yeah, Fresh has been really good. And yeah, I'm sure that I will do a whole video on my freshest experience at some point because it's quite a lot to talk about. <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought that I would end this vlog here and I will see you all in my next video.